All right, so you guys managed to get a little bit of a sneak peek accidentally of this car a couple times by this point um, because one, I saw that it was in one of the videos uh, while we were parking some of our cars and then I had to use it to push this pile into the, I wasn't talking about you, um, into the garage uh, because the Lumina, the square body, blew a tranny line while we were trying to use it to push this pile around. Um, so we ended up using this one. So what do we have here? First off, one goose has kind of a new member to the garage, aside from having to deal with this oh. idiot over here. <laughs> uh, one goose has a, uh, a gosling, can we call it? Absolutely. All right, meet Blake. Blake has decided that he wants a derby, so he managed to get himself a free car. And here it is. This, he's, yeah, he's already done better than me. I never got a car for free. Um, this is, what year is this thing? No, two? Oh, three? Uh, it's under somewhere. Blake, what year is this stupid thing? It's an O2, there it is. All right, we've got an O2 Mercury Sable Wagon. Now, as you guys know, most of you probably know, uh, a couple small things. Obviously, this has got a fiberglass core support in it. That'll probably need to be addressed. Um, all aluminum wheels we'll swap out for him. She's got some ugly, we'll, go, we'll crawl underneath it here in a second. Um, but overall, for a first car, it was free. So obviously you guys know he's either going to A, go out and make his first hit, cry like a baby, and break his stick and never want to do it again, or he's going to put his foot to the floor and destroy this thing in a matter of a minute or two, which that's the one that I hope happens, but you never know. So first car, who cares if it's got a fiberglass core support? It runs, it drives, um, it runs like ass. I don't know if you guys heard that on the last video, but we're gonna try to get that figured out. And if we don't, who knows, we might still build it. Um, just to give him something to be able to go out and destroy. Um, it's going to a fairly friendly track. It's not gonna be something that's buried in mud. So the fact that it doesn't run great under load won't be a huge issue. But what do we got going on here? Oh, it's really bright out here. I can't see the screen or the dam. All right, so we've obviously got some wheel well rust. And the biggest issue on any of these Tauruses, because of this plastic fancy stuff, makes it so that you end up with, oh God, still can't see the screen, a lot of rust. But fortunately, it looks like it stops there. So as you guys can see, I think, there we go, up there. The floors actually don't look horrible. There's some rust right there. That might help it belly. That's a little bit of a concern, but again, probably not the end of the world. Overall though, I must say he managed to pick a pretty fancy car. Check that out. We got nice leather. He's gonna get to ride in leather seats for his first derby. All the fancy wood grain. Um, the family member that he got it from did clean it out pretty well, so I won't bore you with all that. Um, usually Adam and I would go through it, but... Oh wait, hold on! I found a pen! That's about it though. Wait, hold on. We can kind of try to stab the competition. Oh, hold on. Is that, a, is that a drink token? Good for one! Hey, Adam! Yeah. We got a free beer! Check that out! <laughs> oh, I thought it was full. I was going to drink it. <laughs> I don't know where that place is, but Blake might. Amherst. Hey, it's got a title in it. That's a plus. It is pretty cool. There you go. Your first beer, Blake. <laughs> Probably not. I know his mother. Um, so we're going to call this one a little bit short. Uh, you're going to see some update videos here. Um, Adam and I are not going to build this car. Um, I'm going to help Blake the best I can. I'll explain everything, but we're going to make him do the work. Um, we'll do the welding when it comes time to that, but the biggest part of putting something like this together is obviously learning how to strip it and, you know, not cut wires and all the fun stuff that goes into doing a front wheel drive derby. So now uh, we're going to hand him some tools and get him to work and see uh, how much damage he can do while we're out here today. So we're going to call that one a video for now. We appreciate you following along as always. Yeah,